And this video, we want to go through and be able to add on to our previous video and click on the items that are in our inventory. So when I press I, I want my mouse to come up and I want to be able to click on each of these items that we have to actually be able to use them. So the way we're going to do that is we want to open up our inventory widget and our interface, which we are actually going to go through and rename right now. So let's just rename this one to W underscore UI. We'll just, just to kind of simplify it. This is going to be everything related to our user interface and not really much in terms of naming changes, but it just kind of, well, might make it a little bit clearer because interface could be anything. So to begin, we currently have it set up. So this is our inventory widget here. We want to have a button that we can click to just simply close it. So that way we can uh, exit out as well as we want to be able to access our mouse cursor whenever it's displayed. So we head over to our UI widget, go to graph. And when we bring up the inventory, we want to bring up our cross or our cursor and set the input mode to UI only and do kind of the opposite when we open up our crosshair. So what we can do is we can get our player controller. We can set input mode to UI only. And we want to set, or is it show mouse cursor? We want to set that to true, like so. Then we can copy this and paste it in the crosshair, remove the set input mode to UI only, and instead we're going to do set input mode to game only, and link it up, and then uncheck the set input, or sorry, uncheck the show mouse cursor. So let's save that. Let's go to here, we press I, and here we have our mouse cursor. So we just need a way to close it. So if we go to our inventory, we can, for now, just add a simple button. Uh, let's anchor it to the bottom middle. We'll just reset the location like so. Uh, let's add some text into it. Let's name it close. And I'm going to shrink it down to 18 for the font size. And let's adjust where it's positioned. So the alignment, let's do two to bring it back. And one, let's do 1.5. Let's do two and two. So that way it's just kind of at the bottom left right there. So now press I. Here's our close button. Not too happy with that. So let's try to adjust a little bit more. So currently, let's go to our designer and view it. So it's not viewing quite all the same. So if we press I, here we can see everything's scaled up. I press F11. Of course I can't. Hit play. Then press F11. And press I. As you can see, now it's displayed properly. So it's scaling with our screen size, essentially. So if we really wanted to, we can actually, which we probably will, is wrap this in a size box. So that way everything kind of Kind of stays the same. So let's do that now. You know what? We'll deal with that in a later video. We just want to focus on functionality. I'm starting to get kind of sidetracked here. Okay, so when we click close, what do we want to happen? Well, we need an on clicked event, obviously. So let's add that. And let's give it a name. So let's rename it from button underscore zero to B underscore close. Now from here, we need to get access to our UI widget, which will then allow us to call the crosshair function to view the crosshair. So that way it'll close everything and take care of, you know, everything as needed. But the problem is we don't have access to it at all. And if we try to get the parent, as I discovered from when I was temporarily live streaming, that does not get you a user widget that you can easily cast to. Thankfully, someone posted in my Discord a function that they wrote up to get this for us. However, I'm trying to keep this simple since this is not really a widget tutorial, so to speak. It's uh, all about the actual inventory logic and the shop logic. So we're gonna do this the easy way and just set it. So go to our event graph in our user interface widget. And what we're gonna do is we're going to create widget in the event construct. And we are going to create the W underscore inventory and then we want to add that. So we're going to grab our widget switcher. We're going to add that as a child, like so. Then 
Let's go back to the designer, select our inventory, W underscore inventory, delete that, go back to the graph. That should be taken care of. Now we just have to set the parent. So to do that, let's go to our inventory. Let's create a new variable and let's call it parent. And that type is going to be W underscore UI, object reference. We want it to be instance editable and expose it on spawn. So now we can come back here, right click on our create widget, refresh, and we have the option for parent, which is going to be self. So we now should have access to our parent widget. So let's go ahead and drag off that. Let's do a is valid check, just to be safe. And we can call our crosshair function on it, like so. So let's compile save and try it. So we press I, hit close, and we have access to everything like before. So we can pick up these items, press I, and as you can see, nothing comes up because of our flip-flop in our character. But when we press I again, it comes back up. So I noticed the, they are not appearing in the widget. So let's go to our add item function, which should honestly be pretty much all the same. So let's compile and save, and we have an issue. So when we go to add the item, we're in our character class, we get the our uh, widget, and then we get the widget inventory that we have on there, and then we add item to that. So the problem is, what we need to do is, let's go to our w underscore UI, we want to set this as a variable. So what we can do, create a new variable, w underscore inventory, I'm just going to move it up, a, can I not move this up? Maybe down. All right, I guess not. So we want to change the type to W underscore inventory, object reference. Make sure it's set to public, so we're not going to select private. We're just going to leave everything the same. And let's go ahead and set this. So let's drag it right after the create widget and simply set it. And we're going to take this and plug it in like so. So we add it back as a child, and now let's look at it. And as you can see, we have success. So if we pick up an item, press I, we have it right here, and we can click on it. We can hit close, and select this one, press I, and we now have both items here that we can click on. So we're going to close that, and let's go to our, let's actually go to the inventory item. So we press Control Shift, or sorry, Control Space. We have our inventory item, which as we can see is this button right here. And I want to create a simple on-click event. And let's just print out a string saying hello. So we compile save, and let's just see what happens. Pick it up, click, and nothing's happening. So why might that be? Well, let's go to our W underscore inventory, go to designer, and my guess is this is actually blocking it. So we've already done pretty much everything I want to do in this video. In the next video, we're going to make it so we can actually click the items. So we're going to have to set up our mouse to pass through this. And we may go ahead and fix the scaling issue, but I'm not all too concerned about that because, like I said, it's not a widget tutorial. So it's ultimately not really that big of a deal. Anyhow, that's going to be it for this video. And if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patrons, as well as you get early access to pretty much every video that I make, as well as early access to many series. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.